hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i am going to guide you how you can fix the issue connect to printer windows could not connect to the printer if you are facing the same issue this video is for you i will show you step by step how you can troubleshoot and resolve this issue easily so let's start the process without wasting your time guys first of all you need to open the services here you just need to open services of printer so first of all you need to open the services as administrator since the services are very important in windows these play the critical role as well as all the services run with the help of these services running in the background so click anywhere on it and we need to look for print spooler service this is a service guys this is a this service is responsible for running the printer and in order to connect the printer on our windows so in my case it is disabled so if it is disabled you need to right click on it go to its properties and a startup type should be automatic click on apply and you need to start the service if the service is already running on your windows so you need to select that stop it once and click on start and restart the service once by this way your printer spooler service will be refreshed and you should able to fix your issue so, so this is the first and easy fix to fix this issue if this also doesn't help you guys we need to open the control panel once you go to control panel just select the large icons and then we need to go to the this option which says devices and printers printer and scanners select our printer here and then you need to click on remove here since the older one can cause the issue so you can remove it now once you have removed the printer you can re-add the printer here click on add and the printer is not listed so click on add manually so once this page is up you need to select this add printer using IP address on host name select next and from the device type select here the TCP IP device and you need to select here the serial number now host name or the IP address you need to open your computer and basically you need to enter the IP address of your printer whatever IP you have given to the printer so this is the IP address so let's copy this and you need to type here like this but make sure you select make sure you give another IP to the printer not the computer IP you need to select the another IP let's say this is a range so you can give it to the 5 or 100 let's say then you need to click on next and it will detect the driver on your system make sure you're connected with the same Wi-Fi on the printer as well as on the computer and it should able to detect your model number of your printer once it has detected you just need to click on next and click on add and install the printer on your windows 
so there is no printer on our windows so that's why it is taking more time so we need to wait here and once printer is added successfully close this and restart your windows and it should fix the issue so once you have restarted our windows and issue is still persist so you need to come over to again the space control panel select our windows tool once you select our windows tool you should be able to see the administrative tools here we need to go to the print management just you need to double click on this and from here we need to select here all drivers and once you select here all drivers guys you can remove the all driver here like remove printer package just delete it okay like so so once you deleted all the drivers here again you have to install the manufacturer driver here this these driver will be automatically here and will be listed here and after that you need to restart your windows and simply you should be able to fix your issue so restart your windows after that and it should fix your issue if it doesn't fix your issue we have to open the google chrome and search here microsoft printer troubleshoot download go to first link and simply download this troubleshooter choose here for 64 bit just run it click on run you can also download this as well Once you downloaded both the driver here, just select first option, this one. Select printer, next. Try to repair at windows. as you can see it is also first checking the troubleshooter and it will identify your issue and automatically fix your issue restart your windows after that and it will fix the issue so these are the fixes to fix the issue guys so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching